recording, dude. All right. Let me get this picture of this pillow off of my screen, dude. Before it distracts me, man. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Welcome to Hot Couch Potato. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Bob. Oh, this is the podcast where we talk about video games and cup holders. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Wop. I'm here with my man's Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. What's going on, man? See, what, you can have someone wrap your arm, their arms around you with a cup, holding a cup <laughs> in their arms, which is pretty interesting. You know, like you, you feel nice and, nice and safe, and if you're never thirsty, so... <laughs> What if it's a real person, dude? They could just hold the cup in their hands in front of your face, bro, right? Yeah, but if you want to sit on the toilet and, you know, someone's <laughs> wrapping their arms around. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like someone <laughs> hugging you from behind while you're sitting on the toilet is insane, dude. What kind of toilet is that? <laughs> I'm not going to say what country, but... <laughs> <laughs> are they sitting on the fucking like on the top part of it dude? <laughs> just wrapping the legs around your throat and shit dude <laughs> oh fuck dude japan is wild man uh but yeah man what what have you been up to how's your week been man not bad uh been playing a little bit of monster hunter nice um other than that working a lot and oh by the way in monster hunter i end up uh soloing at nerg oh nice i just turtled it away the Did entire you... time slow very slow so it took me 43 minutes mm-hmm. to actually <laughs> fucking beat him but still i did beat him <laughs> what uh what weapon did you use uh gun lance oh, okay with like level five guard and yada yada and i was just poking away <laughs> like really slow but surely you know i ended up killing him so which nice. was pretty cool so nice. i was uh pretty proud of that that i was like yeah nice but i didn't get anything good so i guess if you, when you do beat it though you do get the layered armor for ryu Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah i have that now uh on my plate but yeah. other than that i need to do the other ones yeah because you need to beat it like five times to get the actual uh what level is it it's not beta or alpha it's like the omega, omega? armor yeah 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 because yeah. you have to get five of those little passes or whatever yep to make the actual omega armor like each piece needs one pass or something um yeah man i'm down to play i need to play this week because it's the summer event so everything's opened up um you need to get back on there man actually interesting because i have my playstation 3 plugged in right mm-hmm. um because i'm playing final fantasy 7 um i forgot what i was doing but for some reason i wanted to just shoot some stuff so i went and put in modern warfare 2 started playing and i saw that oh man i didn't collect all of the intel in this game yet i still needed like 10 of them so i played through the third act like the last third of the game dude that game is fun i forgot how great that game was man (laughs) and confirming again i think i'm getting horrible. my aim was so bad dude (laughs) (laughs) either that or like i don't know when was the last time you held your playstation 3 controller um probably the last year and it felt strange yeah i think the the joysticks are different yeah yeah uh especially yeah the positioning and all that and it feels a little more rough yeah for me it felt more loose like i don't know like um i thought my uh sensitivity was turned all the way up but it was actually already on two so I was like, okay, wait, I can't, I can't turn any lower than this, dude. I'm not going to put it back to a one. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I never thought I would tell the difference. I always liked the, the DualShock 3, but I guess since we played on the DualShock 4 for so long, we just, we just got used to it, man. Yeah. What do you think the DualShock 5 is going to look like? It's going to be the same thing, <laughs> but with a hologram in the middle. Oh, a hologram like like a screen or maybe a screen or something like that so that way 
but then it'd be kind of tricky if you like always looking down at your controller. Yeah, yeah. There's some things that do that all right. Um, Zombie U on the Wii U. That was pretty cool because your inventory was on the kind of screen that you're playing on. How do don't 3DS games do it like that too? Where they do like the options menu is actually just on the bottom screen, so it's easier to navigate while you're playing. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I guess. I think uh, didn't PS Vita try to do that like as a mirror or something like that? Oh no, I don't know. If it was like a second screen showing something else that than what's on the screen. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if they did, man. The Vita. That's just. It's so sad that they didn't work more on it. You know. They just abandon it, dude. Yep. Because it's a pretty solid console. You put the whole PlayStation 1 library on there, it would have been good times, dude. Good times. Good times. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it's been kind of a, a crazy week, I guess, man. Kind of slow, video games-wise. It's Evo right now, dude. Have you checked out any of Evo? I haven't, but uh, I was just... I guess I was, like, looking at couple of pictures online and mm. it looks pretty interesting it looks like a uh like wonder con with video games <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess they have a lot of uh i guess of course they just have a bunch of consoles set up so everybody could play against each other but they also have you know new fighting games that are coming out i think it's grown to one of the conventions or conferences where they start revealing a bunch of stuff now too um so far as far as i looked i think they revealed that uh, how Maru from Bushido Blade is going to be in Soul Calibur. So that's cool. I feel like every character is going to be in Soul Calibur, man. Nice. It's going to be the Smash Bros of, you know, 2D fighting games, man. <laughs> that's not on Switch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they also do like a bunch of, or at least in the past years, they've done a bunch of um, Street Fighter new character announcements and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of it this week, dude. Um, what else is going on, man? Oh, global warming, dude, is finally having an effect, man. Did you see how much ice melted this week, dude? No, like, I don't know. I just got so used to it seeing it in my news feed that, like, uh-huh. oh, yeah, we're global warming, and then we got to stop it. And, and I was, like, thinking, yeah, it's, it's too, too late. late dude. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking too late, bro. <laughs> Nobody's going to act, and that sucks because it's like, man, if we only can figure out a way to, I don't know, reduce everything. But unfortunately, we're in a generation where they want to def- they want to fend for themselves, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. if they do it, we can do it kind of mentality. So if they're polluting, we can pollute. It's like, God. Yeah, and I think everybody is, is just so distracted by, by everything else that, you know, it's yep. like that meme of the dog that's sitting at a table drinking coffee in a burning house, you know? And he's like, this is fine. That's exactly what everything <laughs> is, dude. You know? That's how the world is now. It's just insane, man. Um, but, yeah, I was reading an article that said that 12.5 billion tons of ice has melted off of Greenland, dude. And yeah, that's just – I guess they had – um, what do they have? They had a large brush fire. So they already had fire up there. And then it's been just a heat wave this past week, man. So it's been insane out there, dude. Like watching the videos of all this ice that's just melted and coming down, man, and starting to pour into the ocean, it's kind of insane, dude. It's kind of scary. It is. And then it's like, what are we going to do next? I guess we're just going to have to survive. <laughs> dude, right? <laughs> no, we're not going to do anything, bro. We, you might as well in, invest in a boat, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Uh, you know, my dad already has a trailer ready uh-huh. with some food, and I think some of the food doesn't even expire for like 30 years. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. he has like tons of cases of water, and I was like, man, he's ready. Me, I'm not. I'm gonna drown or something like that. <laughs> Wait, you don't know how to swim, dude? I can float on my back. back out. <laughs> no way, that's crazy, dude. You have to learn it. I have to teach you how to swim, man. <laughs> before yeah. before the world gets flooded over. We're in like the prime <laughs> territory too, dude. Like San Diego is a coastal city. We're we're gonna be the first. Like the beach is gonna end up like Coronado is gonna go underwater, dude. <laughs> 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 like you know, Balboa Park will be underwater, man. 
Yeah, yeah, and I live in Mission Valley, so I'm definitely gonna be underwater. Oh, yeah, yeah, that river is gonna is, is gonna come back, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess on the bright side, they're uncovering a lot of stuff, you know, like stuff that got frozen in the ice thousands, millions of years ago, or getting uncovered. Um, That's cool, but yeah. uh, with the whole water going up, I don't know. <laughs> 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 no, it's, I think they found, you know, mummified people. They found like some trees that don't exist anymore. They, they, they've been finding a bunch of stuff, but but you're right. At the, at the price we're getting it for, it's kind of insane, dude. <laughs> exactly. And that's what's scary. I think now it's going to be hot, like super crazy hot for the, for the rest of the years to come. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I mean, and some people's arguments too is it's just a natural cycle of things right like there was an ice age there's got to be you know like a world heat wave type thing um what would you rather have an ice age or just a heat wave like this i think ice age because then Uh i can light things on fire and all that heat wave is like we're gonna generate a lot of electricity to keep cold and Everything's going to melt and burn. Yeah. I don't want to melt and burn. <laughs> Wait, have you seen Have you seen uh, Day After Tomorrow, dude? Is that what it's called? Uh, I have not. It's the one with Dennis Quaid where, like, kind of the, the situation happens where, you know, the bottom half of North America gets flooded and shit, dude, and then freezes over super quick. Um, There's just this crazy part where, like if you get caught in this wind, like your whole body just freezes automatically, dude. <laughs> so there's this whole scene in the movie where they're just running away from this like mist or whatever, dude. <laughs> they're like, we can't let it get in. We have to burn all the books in the library. And now that you're saying you'd rather be in the cold, I, I would much rather be in the hot, dude. I'll swim around, man. I heard that once you freeze, you know, you start actually going into like a slumber and, you know, yeah. it's like a peaceful death kind of thing. You get so. euphoric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'd live in water world. I'd be a pirate, dude. <laughs> 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 so, damn, I, I, whichever way the world goes, only one of us is going to survive, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes too hot, then fucking. I'll survive. It goes too cold. You'll be the one to survive, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, other crazy stuff going on in the world. Oh, dude, the link I sent you with uh, human animals, man. Oh, that yeah. is gonna be insane, dude. All the uh, furries' dreams will come true, man. That is scary because yeah. I said I, I responded. I said anime. Cat girls are fine, but <laughs> when they start developing faces of animals and features, then I'm like, nah, no, no, no. Like, I, I wasn't really anticipating that kind of human. Uh, you know, w- why are they experimenting with this again? I have no idea. Maybe to give humans the advantages that animals have on us, um, like falling on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe or like a dog's sense of smell you know or their hearing or something like that um maybe for those i hope it's not just cosmetic reasons dude where people just want cat ears and shit dude um, that is the anime version but <laughs> that would be kind of raw man i mean we could have you know animal like features without having the cat ears i think we could have a cat hearing Without the cat ears, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is totally wild to me. My question is, <clears throat> is if they're going to do this on uh, humans that are alive right now, or they're going to do it to like um, embryos and clone people, you know, or like just create these people and then um, give birth to them. And then they're just human animals from here on out, dude. Yeah. I don't think the second part is right. I think you should just let people do it if they want to do it now. Like if they're an adult, fine, go ahead, have at it, bro. You know what I mean? Have a choice. Yeah, you can't just start inventing people or creating people for the sole purpose of fucking, you know, being half wolf, half human, dude. That is kind of crazy to me. 
it's going to be that with robots. So <laughs> what? we're going to have we're going to have cuz Japan is already creating the robots oh, and okay. developing the AI to respond to human emotions and mm. things like that. So they're going to have robots in the future, Gundams and um I guess the hybrid human animal thing Jeez. going on. And then when aliens come visit us, they're going to be like, "What the fuck happened here?" And you know, so <laughs> <laughs> we are in the weirdest timeline of the world right now, dude. Exactly. It's so strange how, you know, the world ended up to be where it's at today, dude. It's crazy. Yep. I was just worrying about, like, my popsicle melting. And now oh, no I shit, worry dude. about, like, getting flooded with water and robots and animal creatures. So... <laughs> It's gonna be crazy, man. <laughs> dude, I fucking is interesting. <laughs> blame the internet, dude. It brought us closer together, but at the same time, it like fucked us up, dude. It, it gave... destroyed us, man. <laughs> <laughs> it brought gave out the features that we're not supposed to reveal. Exactly, exactly. It introduced all these like crazy subcultures to to a casual audience that just took it out of control, man. Yeah, and now our younger generations are like, oh, this is normal? Oh, okay. And then we exactly. do it too. And yeah. like, fuck, man. That's why we got memes everywhere, and you got people selling bath water, you know, yep. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I actually just watched this uh, uh, documentary on Netflix called The Great Hack. It's uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good, dude. If you have time, I think it's like two hours long. It's kind of long, but definitely check it out. It's about um, this company that um, they're like a campaign management company. What they do is they buy a bunch of uh, ads on Facebook, YouTube, um, and flood people with those ads to persuade them to vote um, a certain way. You know what I mean? And the last two um, entities that we kind of know or claim to have used this service or this company was when was Donald Trump when he ran for president and was the people that wanted to have the UK not be a part of the European Union anymore, which both won, dude, kind of by slight, by l small margins, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the, the Brexit campaign or the one for... Uh, the UK to leave the European Union, that vote was like 51% to 49%, you know, super close. Uh, the presidential election three years ago, Hillary Clinton won all the, won the popular vote, but Donald Trump won the electoral college vote. So he won, you know, the state uh, votes or whatever. And um, yeah, it's just kind of crazy how one company is just responsible for all this, dude. They were able to be the ones that like tip the scales, you know what I mean? Exactly. And um, it's just scary because the way they work, it's called like um, shit. I think the term they used for it was like psychops or something like that. Uh, basically, what they used to do before they helped out the presidential campaign was they would go out into like war torn nations where America is. Like they would go into Iraq, Afghanistan uh southeast asian stuff <clears throat> and they would throw they would be the ones that threw out all the pamphlets and stuff uh to the people you know and said oh hey don't join the taliban help out america tell them who the taliban are like all kinds of shit like that you know and they call that like weaponized communication so they took that same kind of mindset and brought it to social media and shit dude and just annihilated america dude and yep. just flooded us with like, oh, vote for Trump, vote for Trump, vote for Trump. And there were those people who were like, yeah, we should vote for Trump. And fucking ended up voting for me and ended up winning, dude. So it's kind of insane. Brainwashing. Yep. <laughs> yep. And it's wild because, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm someone that can be persuaded by stuff like that. Do you think you could? maybe not for voting but for like let's say buying a new computer or something uh first i would say the interest has to be there for me mm -hmm. and then once you know then it'll start 
tipping the favor if a majority of people are like reviewing it and saying it's great Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. then you don't realize oh man these are probably fake reviews or something like that (laughs) Uh and so yeah i probably could be influenced Uh, i try not to be and i try to stay out of things like that but yeah, yeah definitely we can be influenced by other people's opinions and mm-hmm. the majority vote kind of thing but i try to see stick to my own values what is right what is not exactly. what do i believe yeah yeah the thing is though is it's it's almost too late you know because there's enough information about each one of us online that they can kind of predict our behavior and what we're going to do you know yep so that's why if it's like you're thinking about <clears throat> Let's say like for me, right? Like I'm thinking about going to Japan, which I actually am. I'll see all the advertisements for like tours in Japan and stuff, even though I've never searched for that stuff in my life before, you know? So yep. it's popping up on my browser for you. Like if you're looking for new PC parts or new hard drive, all of a sudden, you know, you're just thinking about it. But the they'll tell by your information that, oh, Rick's going to look at some new computer parts now. They'll start flooding you with all that shit, you know? Yep. So... It's fucking tricky, dude. We can't tell now if it's like we're making decisions based off our own beliefs or we're making decisions just because, you know, someone flashed an advertisement in front of us, dude. It's kind of fucking scary, man. Yeah, I think one time or I see it now, too, especially the Facebook ads. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't need this. But then Mm -hmm. they keep showing it over and over and over. And then I ended up buying one of the things and I was like, wow, they really got me. Um and I do realize when you look at one video, uh, it will start populating your feed mm-hmm, everywhere, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and then it gets me too. and I see it like I remember I was like looking at houses or something uh, mm-hmm. randomly and then all of a sudden I started seeing like a bunch of Zillow ads and whatnot. And what's crazy and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a coincidence, but I saw a family guy video. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about Zillow and all that. I was like, what the (laughs) fuck? (laughs) Wait, did you specifically look for that Family Guy clip? Or did they Uh, suggest it to you? No, it just popped in my feed. And I was like, oh, hey, Uh... I like Family Guy. And then they were talking about Zillow. I was like, what the fuck? You know? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. This shit is wild, dude. It's scary. It's kind of scary what people are willing to do with all that power, man. Yep. It's, uh... They uh, describe themselves, too, as a, as a Bond villain. They're like, we're not a Bond villain. We're just a company that's helping out clients. You know what I mean? And I was like, holy shit. They are actually a Bond villain. Like, there was a James Bond movie uh, about this guy that owned um, a news agency or a media agency. And he was making up stories to, like, try and cause a war. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, now these guys are, we are literally in a James Bond movie right now. It's kind of insane, dude. Yeah, yeah. I wonder we who We need are. a James Bond. Yeah, we need a James Bond, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be wild, man. Um, but yeah, enough about real world stuff, too. Let's actually talk about video games, dude. Um, you been playing Monster Hunter. Oh, Pokemon Go, dude. There's another community day. Another one? Where? No, the Ralt stuff, dude. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finished that. Only got one shiny. I was just driving around my area. Didn't really get too much that's kind of it was kind of hard to find a shiny but Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i was trying to rely on my pokeball you know that connects with pokemon go and oh yeah yeah. like missing or not there the pokemon have been running away more often i was like i don't know how reliable this is i remember i used it for the um bagon event when Mm -hmm. it was me you and eric and yeah, I didn't get as much shiny as you guys did when you guys manually clicked things. Really? Clicked it, so, yep. It's definitely so. I went to go and get gas during the um during the event, but I mostly stayed at home, right? Because I gotta be saving money up in here, man. Um, and there were I was passing the corner, and there were two um Ralts at the corner, right? And I was like, you know what? I won't try and catch the one closest to me. Let me just do a shiny check because I was going to pass this corner pretty fast, right? Mm-hmm. So click on the first one. It wasn't a shiny, so I just run from it. The second one I click is a shiny. So now I have that doubt in my mind, dude. 
like, oh man, every Ralts I didn't click was probably a shiny. A man. shiny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hate it when that shit happens, man. But it was literally like, oh yeah, I was I was just clicking the stuff closest to me. And since that one was a little bit farther, I would have ended up not clicking it, you know, if I hadn't just had the urge, like, yeah, let me just shiny check instead of actually trying to catch um uh, this one guy, man. Um but the shiny versions look kinda cool. They're blue and um orange. I evolved uh a shiny Ralts into the guy version of what's the guy version called? Carillo or something? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I evolved into the guy version. He looks pretty cool. He's all blued out with that orange spike sticking in his stomach, man. Um, yeah, all my Pokemon are dead too from trying to fight Team Rocket, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have no more revives. I'm like banking on fucking, you know, opening gifts and stuff to try and get revives and stuff like that, man. But man, this is just not getting anything from anybody. I think I opened a gift from you yesterday, dude. I got Stardust. <laughs> 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 like, what? That's it? <laughs> yeah. We do need to get become lucky friends, so that's why I need to send you those gifts. Yeah. Is it random or what? It's random. We, uh, just, have to, okay. we just both have to be opening the gifts. Uh, and we have to be... Was it best friends first before we can try? To yeah, like over. ultimate friends, best friend thing. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, dude. Wait, I just got one max revive, dude, from a gift. I'm using that shit now. Because <laughs> all my Pokemon <laughs> are fucking... Yeah, I have like 12 Pokemon that are dead, dude, that you try and revive. Shit, that's fucking crazy, man. Um, But yeah, Pokemon Go, dude. They're going to make billions again this year off of this... Team Rocket stuff. The PVE content is definitely going to keep on floating. I think we talked a little bit about that um, last week, man. Um, what else is going on, dude? What's the next video game you think you're going to buy? Um, Modern Warfare. Oh, that's right, dude. That's right. They just did their uh, multiplayer event this week, too, where they revealed just a bunch of multiplayer content. Looks like they're bringing it back to um cod 4 modern warfare with like the kill streaks and stuff and a bunch of people are scared of it dude because what they ended up doing with multiplayer is if you capture a point you get you, the kill streaks are based off of a point system instead of kills so if you captured a point you got 50 points if you got a kill that was 100 points you know and i think you get a uav at um 300 points or something like that right if you got an if you got an assist on a kill you got a certain amount of points too so you didn't necessarily have to get kills but if you played the objective then you can probably get some kill streaks um people are complaining now dude that since the kill streaks are based off of kills no one's gonna play the objectives anymore man <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of true dude <laughs> did you ever get a nuke in modern warfare 2 dude um yeah one time yeah, and that was because I stationed. I think it was my my turret <clears throat> in a, like a really like a the enemy spot, and it was like killing them nonstop. And uh-huh. I was like summoning everything else, like the airstrikes and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after that, I, yeah, only one time out of the whole what year we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we played that shit for a while. Damn, because yeah, I, I definitely got that nostalgia when I um opened up. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 to try and collect all the intel. But you remember when that game opens up, it's the Affinity War symbol, and it's like... <laughs> like it's spinning <laughs> on each other? I was like, oh yeah. my god, dude, I haven't played this game in years. But we did. That was really like Destiny before Destiny, right? That was the game that we were all playing all at the same time. Like, at any given night, everyone we went to school with was fucking playing that game, dude. Hell yeah. Especially we all just play at the same time. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, this is crazy, man. So I think I'm with you. That doesn't come out till October, right? Yeah, somewhere in October. I think Modern Warfare released in November the first mm-hmm. time because I remember getting that um, special edition where you have the night vision goggles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, they have that again, dude. They have the, the night vision goggles again, except they look more futuristic this time. Man, man. That's crazy. When did Modern Warfare? That. 
what did Modern Warfare 2 come out? Like 2007? I think so. Let's check. I want the special edition. I'm looking up these special edition now. Because you, I remember yours. Because yours had like... Um, God, it looks awesome. Damn, dude. Modern Warfare 2 came out 2009. But yours just looked like the stereotypical, you know, um, night vision goggles, right? Uh, the ones they have with Modern Warfare, the new one that's coming out. It's like the one with four scopes, dude. So I guess you could use your peripheral vision on it and everything like that. Oh, my but, God. Yeah, it looks crazy futuristic. But I guess it's been 10 years since fucking Modern Warfare 2 has come out. So night vision goggles are about to change what they look like, right? They yeah. They can't be the same. <laughs> Man, I hope I don't buy this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, done, dude. If you need motivation not to buy it, think about it now. Where where are your night vision goggles now? In the attic. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You might need that for uh, you know the apocalypse when it starts to flood. <laughs> exactly. I was actually looking up real ones, and they're like three thousand oh, yeah. dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because I think the ones. You're saying the night vision goggles you got aren't real, dude? They are. They kind of they work in the dark, uh -huh, but uh -huh. it's like a really small screen, and uh -huh. yeah, your you feel the vision is very limited and all that. But yeah, uh, and it doesn't go that far in range, oh, so you can okay. tell like you know it's not as clear and all that compared to the videos you see online mm -hmm. where you can see across the field, see everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then, dude. That's true. There's got to be a quality to it. You can't see, you know, your peripheral vision. You just see that one screen. Yep. I wonder if these are... How much is the the Modern Warfare uh, 2019 with the goggles price? Probably $200 at least. No way, I, dude. I remember spending $100... 100 Yeah, on mine. And that's not with the game. It's like 160. Wait, it didn't come with the game? Uh, no, it did, but oh. it's like 160 ish or something. I don't remember. Let me see. Let me see. Modern Warfare Special Edition price. It has to be at least $200, I'm thinking, dude. Oh, yeah. See? Two, yeah, you're right. $200. Damn, man. So, yeah. Safe to say those aren't real. Night vision goggles, dude. <laughs> yeah, I convinced myself I don't need them. It's like, <laughs> I just turn on the lights. <laughs> nah, dude, there won't be any lights when the world floods over, man. Shoot, I just use a flash flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, man, man, I don't know. SDG and E, man, is is. An evil corporation, dude. <laughs> if there was a Team Rocket or anything, it would be fucking San Diego Gas and Electric, man. Um, I had a power, a planned power outage last night, right? Mm -hmm. Except the only thing is I didn't know that it was planned. So I'm sitting here, you know, I've been applying for like jobs recently, right? Or been job hunting recently. So I'm out here like working on my resume, trying to uh, make it fit to this job I want to apply to. And everything just turns off. I was like, what the Jeez. fuck? No way. It's, uh, I think it was like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. I was like, what the fuck? Did we just have a brownout or something, you know? And I figure <clears throat> I'm house-sitting for my mom and uh, my stepdad right now. So I was like, yeah, you know what? It was about time I took a break anyways. Let me go down there and, like, check on the snake and just check out if everything's good at the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. So as I'm pulling out of my complex... I have to hit a, a a traffic signal. You know what I mean? Of course, the traffic signal is out because there's a blackout. But there's fucking, like, stop signs that people put there. And it must have been not even 20 minutes from when, you know, I decided to leave my house from when it the blackout actually started. I'm like, there's no way that someone responded this fast and put up these stop signs, dude. They planned for this to happen. These yep. motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it was a planned blackout. And I just never, I was never part of the plan, dude. 
<laughs> it was fucking horseshit, man. So now I gotta pay attention. I gotta find out. I wonder how they notify us that they're gonna have a blackout in my area. It would suck if they sent us like a physical letter, dude. <laughs> and it's like, oh <laughs> shit, I don't check my mail out here. That's fucked up. <laughs> well, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, it's not the first time we had a blackout over here, but it definitely gives you a feeling of what it's like, you know, if shit were to really crash out like that, you know? Yeah. It's like, man, I can't, all my food is going to go bad that I have, you know what I'm saying? Um, the internet goes down, the cell towers get fucked up. So it, it kind of puts everything in perspective, dude. My car didn't have that much gas. So I was like, oh, fuck, dude. It made me go and fill up my gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's fucking crazy man um what not having power is like and it's just weird like um i know it it just gets dark right it was at nighttime too especially but there's just this weird like shade of of gray that just encompasses the area that's blacked out um it's not a normal kind of dark like we're used to you know, where you look out into the ocean at night and that's dark, right? Yeah. But it's, it's if there's something darker than that, <laughs> that's what it's like when there's a blackout, dude, when there's no power. Because it's just, it's just insane. Um, like I had trouble walking out of my house. And then as I was walking out, I even had to turn on my phone flashlight. Like that's how crazy dark it was. It's kind of weird. And you just don't hear anything, you know? There's no TVs in the background or like uh ac units running it's just super silent it's kind of scary dude yeah i remember the one time we had that blackout for like i think it was like five hours or oh that. yeah yeah i remember like we were we didn't have dinner yet so we decided to use the grill in the backyard mm-hmm. and we ended up grilling pizza <laughs> <laughs> which was truly amazing i have never had that before and you know the pizza was smoky but it was nice and crispy at the same time cheese was melted i was like man why don't we ever do this and so <laughs> but did yeah, it took forever did it or what oh uh, yeah like 20 to 30 minutes gotcha. uh you know normal cooking and but other than that i remember i had my power bank ready and uh I wasn't ready for the blackout, but luckily enough, we had the power bank. And then, you know, we, you know, my family, my dad, like I said, he had like a generator, power generator and water and all that. He, you know, he, we're ready or mm-hmm. actually he's ready. But mm-hmm. me now, I don't think I'm ready. I need, I might need that night vision goggle stuff. <laughs> See, <I'm laughs> you know, I just reeled you back in, dude, to, to try and buy it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane, dude. I have no idea. Like, I think I'm prepared, right? And then shit happens, and it's like, oh, my God, dude, I don't know what to do, you know? Yeah. It's like there's only... If I had to drive out of here real quick in an emergency, there's only two ways out of here, you know? And those two ways are always packed, because Mira Mesa Boulevard is always packed, dude. Yep. Like, no matter where you go, if you go to the east, you know, it turns into the 15, which always sucks up in that area in Mira Mesa. If you go to the west, you get Sorrento Valley, which is even more horrible, dude. Um, yep. They put, dude, how many lanes is that? Um, Like, from your work to go into the freeway, isn't it like six lanes or something like that? And that uh, shit still gets packed? Yeah. Yeah. It's because everybody's trying to get on the freeway, so they mm-hmm. merge to the next three lanes, or mm-hmm. I, don't, I forget. But yeah, I remember one time I spent like an hour just to get on the freeway. That, sucks, that was dude. so horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, technically, I can make it all the way from Mira Mesa down south just taking side streets, dude. Really? Yeah. Huh. That'd take. To- figure out how to go through that way it'd take like an hour but <laughs> you could do it dude you just gotta find there's only maybe like a handful of streets that pass through mission valley or like pass through the eight you know what i mean from one side to the other um you just really got to find one of those streets one of them is like college you know yeah um the one that goes through state um but yeah 
I actually don't know where I'd go. Where would you go, dude, if shit started popping off? Would you go east towards the desert or west towards the water? I guess east because we don't have boats really, huh? Well, it depends on the thing, too. If we're going to have a tsunami and oh, yeah. fire oh, on yeah. the other side, um, I think I might have to stay in the middle and just <laughs> – <laughs> Let them meet when they clash, you know? <laughs> that way they can – the flood can put out the water, but I can at the same time try to float. <laughs> I'll just stay in the middle. <laughs> you make like a bomb shelter for yourself, dude. A fallout shelter, dude. You make one of those, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I stay near the airfield. I yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair, man. Um, oh, dude, speaking of fallout – um, some of the developers from Fallout 3 made their own studio. They're coming out with a game called Outer Wilds, I think it's called. Let me confirm that here. What is it about? Um, I think it's just like Fallout where it's a... Uh, well, no, I take that back. I think it is a... Um, no, not Outer Wilds. What the fuck is it called? Outer Worlds? Outer World. It's called Outer Worlds. Um, I think it's a space cowboy game, for lack of better terms, where you're just a guy who's traveling around space and just runs into different cast of characters um, on this alien planet. You know, there's robots. And it's really a game where you're just free to do whatever you want. Um, to emphasize that, I guess they came out in a press release or something this past week that said every NPC in this game you can kill. Like, no one is immune in this game. And I think there are games that are kind of like that. Um, one being, like, Oblivion. I think you could kill a majority of people, um, except for the main quest givers. That being said, in Outer Worlds, they said you could kill everybody, so I'm imagining you could kill the quest givers as well. So then you're gonna have a game of emptiness. Yeah, I bet you that's no side quests. Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting YouTube video. <laughs> Someone's like, I, "I killed everyone in my outer world," <laughs> and then people are gonna be like, "What do now?" What yeah, do I know, now? right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's gonna be like there's gonna be a president's office or the mayor's office or something. Whoever the highest ranking NPC is in the game. Every that's the first thing people are gonna do is take a screenshot of them sitting in his chair or something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, yep, I'm the king of my world now." Uh, yeah, <laughs> gonna launch a nuke. Yeah. <laughs> so that game for me is kind of a sleeper. I think I might pick this game up, um, just because Fallout Three was was so good, um, and so was the original. Whoa. This comes out the same day as Modern Warfare. Am I buying two games in one day, dude? You're going to buy two games in one day, man. Holy we, shit, You dude. have to prioritize Modern Warfare so we can do the spec ops. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right, dude. I was just... So, I was playing Modern Warfare 2 recently, right? And it's on a newer uh, PSN account. So, you know, on a past one, I had Platinum. The past one is where we finished all the spec ops on, dude. Uh-huh. Um, I was playing through a couple of them. Dude, spec ops is fucking hard, man. <laughs> 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 i don't remember this bag i was being that hard because there were a couple that i could do solo right and and try to finish and i was like getting one star on them i was like holy shit dude <laughs> how did we do this back then because <laughs> you have to play it on like veteran difficulty too right to try yeah. and get the the highest ranking on it but yeah man you need to play those spec ops did they confirm those during the multiplayer event uh, i didn't check so i'm not sure let me just do a quick search here real quick but yeah october 25th is gonna be a big day dude heck yeah it's gonna be the day i'm poor <laughs> same i mean i'm already <laughs> poor today but <laughs> <laughs> um no nothing yet uh one thing they did say about modern warfare is it's gonna be cross-platform dude so that's gonna be interesting hmm. um i think the only thing that separates the lobbies is whether you're using um a keyboard and mouse or a or a controller i think that's good because yeah people on keyboard and mouse are crazy yeah yeah i mean on the other side too people on what's it called on um 
controller, technically they have an aimbot, right? Because there's aim assist on. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Just get your entire player base to to interact with each other like that. I think is great. Um, let me see here. Cause they don't they have that? Don't they have a mouse and keyboard that you can buy for your Xbox nowadays? Uh, I think so. I'm not I sure. Razer was making it, right? Let me see my mouse keyboard for Xbox. Um No, never mind. Fucking spell check, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I did MKB for mouse and keyboard, but it wants me to put out the whole fucking word, dude. Oh, yeah, there is, man. They got the turret, the X, the Razer turret for Xbox One. So, yeah, technically you can already have these now. I mean, that's yeah. kind of cheating, though, dude. Yeah, that's how I was like, uh, we could just have a computer. Yeah, and... <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, did we talk about this last week? Someone made a computer that had a Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One all in one system? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That is crazy. That's got to cost like, like that. a billion dollars, though, dude, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I was like, maybe I can just physically put in the console but not take it, you know, the circuit board <laughs> out. <laughs> but, no, nah, I think, yeah, you guys, you have to have, like, I don't know the circuitry behind it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine all the cooling for that, dude. Exactly. Should be broken, man. Um, but yeah. What else is going on, dude? Um, they opened up the casino in Grand Theft Auto Five online. Nice. Oh, this is just Grand Theft Auto Online. I have online. not played <laughs> Grand online. Theft Auto forever. Have you? Um, the last time I logged in was when I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, because I think if you pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2, you got like a million dollars or something like that. Oh. Um, and no, there's just way more hackers in fucking Grand Theft Auto Online, man. That shit was fun, though, when we used to do, what were those called? Where the waves would come at us? The survivor mode or something? Yeah, like mission mode or survival. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we did the survivor mode, and then I remember we did some of the heists, too. That was there pretty you go. fun. I think it was the heist. Yeah, we did the first one um, <laughs> where we have to break that guy out of jail. Isn't that the first one? I don't remember. Did we beat that? I remember dying a lot. I remember we one. died at the very, very last part um, because the last part is we have to take a helicopter and fly out of the jail and we had a like another player that was flying the helicopter <laughs> something like and he that. was like crashing a lot yeah so. <laughs> either that or like someone jumped out the fucking helicopter <laughs> to like <laughs> run to us and died on their way running to us or some shit like that <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> dude the highs were fun man i wish we finished those it just takes a lot of money to do those it just doesn't make sense to me like you have to pay to do a heist well actually no that does make sense you got to pay for like you know all the equipment and stuff like that if you're really gonna rob a bank not that exactly. i would ever rob a bank but <laughs> yeah this is just super funny dude um i think i have a clip of me flying a motorcycle and just bailing and it crashing into like the side of a mountain or a building <laughs> while i think anthony and jeff were riding it dude <laughs> uh good times man Good times trolling in that game. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I guess there are some people out there that just have billions of dollars in um, Grand Theft Auto. So what's it called? Rockstar's trying to take that money back <laughs> 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 by opening up a casino, dude. <laughs> what's the most you ever won from a casino? In real life or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think about 60 bucks. And oh, okay. I know people that won a hundred dollars every day, and then every day, dude. Yeah, there's this one guy that he said <clears throat> he's like an older guy, mm -hmm. and he's like he went to Las Vegas for like with a hundred and twenty-five dollars or whatnot, 
And apparently, you know, he was supposed to make that $125 last for the whole week or weekend. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he lost $100 in gambling. So he only had $25 left to survive for food. And he ended up uh, gambling the last $25. And he came out with eight thousand dollars oh my god dude from 25 to eight thousand yeah i was like god damn dude dude. you gotta either grind it out to make all that money back or just take huge risks man yeah he said he was like just throwing down like as soon as he won like uh five hundred dollars he was like throwing down five hundred dollars and then he kept like doubling and tripling and he was just going all out and i was like god damn I don't know. That's so risky. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my heart would be able to take that, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, you often lose a lot more than you win, so that's kind of crazy. I think the most I won was like 160 bucks off a of penny slot one time, um, <laughs> and it sucks because I definitely should have stayed on that machine, right? Because my mom was the first one. She was playing on it first, and she won, I think, 120 real quick. She's like, oh, here, yeah, play on this one. I've been winning. So I play on it 160, real easy. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. We didn't ride the luck, you know, and kind of just left after I won. As soon as I left, someone else jumped onto the slot machine, and they won too. I was like, shit, dude. Maybe I should have kept sitting there and kept playing. Exactly. (laughs) And I've definitely lost like $90 in 10 minutes too. So this shit goes both ways, man. It's dangerous. Shit is dangerous, dude. Um, but yeah, man, I think that's all I got this week, dude. So, what's up? Technically, I was watching, or I haven't been watching anime a lot recently for Mm. the past two or three weeks, and I decided to uh, start rewatching. Um, what's that anime? The demon, the demon anime with the samurai. He's like a samurai kid. Oh, with the water sword attacks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I caught up. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I haven't watched the last three episodes. The last episode I watched, you, you're caught up all the way? Yeah, yeah. So the last episode I watched was when they killed, spoiler alert, when they killed that, uh, the drum demon dude. Okay, okay. My bad. I didn't mean to what were you going to say. Oh, you no, like, I was like, I was like trying to think for what episode was that? Oh, but yeah. Oh, okay. So technically, yeah, it gets interesting after that too. But uh-huh. um, yeah, I was watching that and I was like, man, I was looking at my letter opener from Sekiro. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I said, you know what, Rick? You're still not allowed to touch this letter opener because you have not beat Sekiro at all. You know? <laughs> so I said, you know what, motherfucker? To myself. I'm going to play Sekiro. So I was playing Sekiro today, and I was like, damn, dude. Just because I remember when, before I logged, stopped playing you know, Sekiro, mm-hmm. I was sucky. You know, I, was, I took forever to kill one guy, and I was always trying to parry him and whatnot. But after watching that anime, dude, I was breezing through everything really fast. You know? I was <laughs> killing things. I killed three guys so fast. You know, I was throwing ninja stars everywhere, jumping. I was like, where the fuck did I learn all this? It's because I gained confidence from watching the anime. And it's, <laughs> but I didn't get really far still. Like, I'm still – I just beat that boar um, that's on fire or whatnot. Oh, on yeah. Head. It's like a bull or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, it took me a couple tries though, like, but still, like, man, I was getting the rhythm down. Like, I was just stabbing everybody so fast, and I was like, "Damn, dude, see, if only I had a real katana, learn how to play, <laughs> use it in real life. I'd be a ninja. I might be a ninja." Damn, um, dude. So, did you beat that guy that was riding the horse? Did you beat him today, or did you beat him a while ago? Oh, a while ago. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and then I, I like stopped right there, and I haven't been going back because you know I had like anxiety of like, oh crap, you know, do I want to be stressed today playing video games or do I want to just play something mindless like you know like Tetris or something? But oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ended up playing. And I got, th- I felt the adrenaline. I was breathing pretty hard. So, but. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I was killing everything really fast. I was parrying Inside everything team. on point. I was like, damn, dude. Maybe I need to beat this game so that way when we do go to either PAX or, you know, PSX, and you know, I can say, oh, yeah, I, I'm one of the guys that helped or did beat Sekiro because right now I feel like I'm in the lower end where, like, I gave up and mm, mm. <laughs> I don't want to feel like that. This is the first game where I don't think it's the first, but this is, like... It's knocking on my pride as a gamer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I remember playing Ninja Gaiden, but uh-huh. even though that was hard, I still like took the time to master the techniques to the point where I was able to like kind of go through it easily. Hmm. This one, I remember getting whooped so hard to the point where I was starting to be afraid to turn on the PS4. So <laughs> now I'm pretty confident after watching this anime. Damn, dude. Well, wait, what about um, Dark Souls 3, dude? When are you going to jump on that? Oh, yeah. I got. I was thinking about doing it on the PC because I have it for the PC. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I might just pick it up on PS4 because I don't want to encounter all those hacks, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I other mean, players, infinite. You, know, you could just play in offline mode, dude. You know no, I mean? no, 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 no. <laughs> I can never, ever turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that dude just like knowing someone's invaded and then you're like walking around now just looking all around you at all times just to see where they're coming from man that's the worst exactly amazing at like when you like you're walking around and you hit that wall the fog wall and you're mm-hmm. like what the fuck and then you realize this player has invaded you <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> yeah yeah Damn, dude. Yeah, because I've seen some crazy hacks on there, man. Um, maybe or maybe it was the old ones where I saw the crazy hacks where it's like the guy only has like a butt crack of health, right? So you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is going to be easy to kill him. So you try to throw shit at him or shoot him with a bow and arrow or something. And then he does like this reflect thing that when it hits you, it petrifies you and turns you into stone yeah but and then when you respawn like all of your items are gone except for like a rock or something like that it's See? one of those hacks yeah, yeah. i don't want to do any of that <laughs> <laughs> which sucks man they got to do something better about the hacks in the game if if that's going to be the consequences otherwise you're right dude um why play on pc <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking troll i mean you get the 60 fps though dude <sighs> Yeah, with the stress. <laughs> Do you have it on PC or PS4? No, I got it on uh, PS4. Damn. Okay. I might have to pick it up on PS4. Wait. Did I borrow that from you? Not me. I only have it on PC. Where the heck? You no, probably I... borrowed Dark Souls or one of those. Yeah. Two. I think I still have your Demon Souls for sure. Um, I'm trying to think. Because I feel like I didn't buy Dark Souls 3 at first. I just started playing it, then got really interested, and then I bought it. Huh. I can't remember who I bought that from, if anybody. Um, huh. Interesting, man. That's good, dude. You should finish Sekiro, man. Yeah, I know. And so that way I can wield my letter opener in public. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my coworkers still make fun of me because I <laughs> I sent them that video of me opening up Sekiro with the Sekiro sword. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did you have to open it so dramatically? I was like, dude, it's my katana, man. My katana letter opener. I have to. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking about bringing this to work, but I was like, I don't open envelopes at work or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, dude. I have to download. So, yeah, sorry that the quality of this is still kind of shitty and we don't have any opening music or closing music but i haven't downloaded anything on my computer since it crashed (laughs) last (laughs) week um but i need to download the epic game store because no because alan wake and for honor is free right now on the epic game store Ah. And free games are always good to have, man. Um, kind of shitty, but Sniper Elite Four 
is for free on PS Plus this month, and I totally spent money on that game. Yeah, so, did you say that was like a really awesome game? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't have time to play it, so now I'm going to have it on my PlayStation 4 and Steam. <laughs> <laughs> so, RIP, dude. <laughs> Damn it. I have to install Epic Game Store, dude. Do you believe the hatred hype around Epic Game Store or what? Mm, with the whole Fortnite stuff? No, not with Fortnite, but with how they are um, getting a bunch of exclusives. Hmm. You know, Good like for them. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too, man. There seems to be this like, you know, universal online hatred for for the Epic Game Store for having a bunch of exclusives but yeah I, I really don't see what the um what the drama is dude i think just because they're the newest kid on the block and everybody's used to steam you know yeah yeah even if it's like oh you don't trust epic games with your information it hasn't i feel like steam has definitely sold our information to people before or they have had, had like leaks and stuff before right i think so that's why whenever you open a, a Steam chat, it says never tell your password to anybody, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> somebody definitely slipped up and told their password to somebody on that shit before. <laughs> so, yeah, free games are everywhere, man, is what I'm realizing. You just got to, if you like a game that's been out for a while, just, just wait a little bit. Soon enough, you can get it for free somewhere. Exactly. Um, that'll be good. Um, because I heard Alan Wake is pretty good, man. I've always been interested to play that. So, even though it is kind of a scary game, but we'll try it out. See how far we get. Um, but yeah, I think that is it, man. I just have to sit here and be poor for about four more days, dude, until payday. Same here. And then I'll be uh, <laughs> I'll eat one meal and be poor again. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's right that too i'm gonna i'm gonna try and buy my uh buy a new solid state when we get paid too man so i could reinstall everything because i feel like <clears throat> if i were to buy or if i were to install like sony vegas like the video editing stuff on a regular hard drive it would take forever for that video to to get a process dude it already takes a long time on the solid state but for that shit to happen on a fucking regular hard drive hell no exactly take five years dude um but yeah i think that is it for us this week we're one week closer i guess we could we haven't done a countdown in a long time dude Let's start counting down to uh to yes. pax man because yes. it's fucking august already holy shit dude we're yes two months past uh the midway point of the year it's about to be 2020 already dude holy shit um but let's see it's gonna be seven uh 14 uh 21 6 7 8 9 nah wait what did i say 21 why did i go from 21 to 6 dude am i retarded what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> two three four five 25 25 days until PAX, man. Starting That's a long day. time. It seems Which is like going to be time. fast because Comic-Con has just ended. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it. I think right now it seems like a long time. But watch. We'll be here next week and I'll, I'll be like, yo, it's 18 days until PAX. And it'll seem pretty fast, man. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll be good times. Um, Until next week. Uh, Rick, some words of wisdom? If you're feeling lonely and thirsty, some arm pillows are available online. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> arm pillows, dude. I wonder if you can customize the face. 